over the years, I have been in many, many homes due to my different businesses. But one thing has always been evident wherever I've gone, and that is there are pictures on the wall, setting on the mantel, setting on tables, but there's always pictures. People like to remember things. Some of the pictures are of special events. I've seen the pictures, big, wide pictures of a company of soldiers as they were getting ready to be uh, sent out to fight in World War I. I mean, pictures a couple of feet wide is just, you wonder how they took those kind of pictures and printed them. I've seen pictures of newborn babies, proud parents wanting to remember the birth of that child. Many times, firstborn seems to have little prominence. <laughs> Secondborn, thirdborn, they get their pictures taken too, but it seems like there's always more of the firstborn. But we like to remember things, wedding pictures. Imagine everyone has pictures of when they were married and like to remember that day. In later years, people would take videotapes. Now they get their, their phones out and uh, do the video with their phones. But it all comes down to the fact that we like to remember things and we like to have a reminder. We like to look at something or hold something or have some item that will remind us of some good event. Jesus knew that we needed something to remember him by. And not just Jesus himself, but the crucifixion, the death, the sacrifice. And so Jesus, when he was ready to uh, celebrate the Passover, which was really a joyous feast for the Israelite people, because they were celebrating their freedom from 400 years of oppression in the land of Egypt, and so it was a joyful time, but it was also some sadness because they had the bitter herbs to remind them of the bitterness of the oppression. But Jesus did the celebration of the Last Supper with his disciples so that they would be able once again to recall God's love and God's care. In the Gospel of Matthew, we read a very short uh, statement about what the Last Supper was like with Jesus. Now the different Gospels have a little different uh, wording on the uh, events, but they all have one thing in common. It says, as they were eating, Jesus took bread, blessed and break it. They gave it to the disciples and said, take, eat, this is my body. Then he took a cup and after giving thanks, he gave it to all of them and said, Drink from it, all of you, for this is my blood of the covenant, which is poured out for many for the forgiveness of sins. But I tell you, I will not drink from the fruit of the vine and, um, from now on until that day when I drink it anew with you in my Father's kingdom. Not only did he want us to have a memory, but he made a promise that one day we would be able to drink the fruit of the vine, eat of the bread with him personally, and such a hope to look forward to. We've just sung several Christmas carols reminding us of the humble birth, but also of the great purpose that Jesus came, not as a baby, not as just a man, but as God's gift mankind that we might be redeemed from the curse of sin and so when Jesus instituted the Last Supper he gave us something to remember him by you take your packets and take up the cracker let's eat together representing the body of Christ that was given for us then also the cup representing that divine blood that was shed to pay our debt of sin. Let's pray. 
Heavenly Father, especially at this time of year, we remember that great gift of love, sending your Son, that he might live among us, that he might experience all that we go through, but ultimately he would remain perfect, the perfect lamb, the perfect sacrifice. And so, Father, we ask we might be spiritually renewed and strengthened by eating of this bread, drinking of this cup, as we remember that great gift, not only of your love, but of Jesus, willing to go to the cross, to suffer, to die, but ultimately to be raised again, to give us that promise that one day, we will be able to eat and drink that feast with him. And so, Father, we ask that we might remember, remember the great gift, that we might practice that same love to all that we are around, that we might show the world truly your love and the way that you care for each of us. And so, Father, throughout this Christmas season, help us always to remember Jesus died rose again to give us hope for life with you. We pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen.